All right, first and foremost, I want to give all the honors and the praises and the glory belongs to my Lord and Savior, whose name is Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Waha Raka Kodash. The name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh, and the Son's name is Yahweh Shai. And who I reverence and honors to the apostles that are in the Holy Spirit and to the hopeful elect across the globe and to the few, the very few brothers and sisters that are listening and that are also learning in the hopes of being saved within these last days. Okay? And this lesson, it's going to be a vent, but it's a righteous vent. This society is backwards. This society is true, it's backwards. Okay, we're gonna start off on Amos. Completely backwards. Some of the stuff I've seen recently. Man, let's go to Amos. We're gonna get straight to it. The Lord wants us, he doesn't want us to be partial, you know. Um, I hate this, but uh, I love this, I love this, but I hate this. All of the scriptures, the scripture says, eat the whole roll. So when you eat the whole roll, you're digesting everything, the good and the bad. Okay. Let's go to Amos 3. And, excuse me just a minute. There was a slow one today. Let's go to Amos 5, so like here. And 14. The scripture says, seek good and not evil. So that's what we've got to be seeking seeking good and not evil right so if you're seeking good what are you actually seeking Yahweh Shai even when he was on the scene he said there's none good but the father but Yahweh Shai was good he was just being humble but he was good as Yahweh Shai he was perfect so seek good what's good is wisdom this knowledge this understanding and which is a part of what the law because that's our wisdom as it mentions in Deuteronomy 4 and 6 okay Seek good and not evil. Our people rather would seek evil. Because in these in these terms, in these days, if you pick up a Bible, you'll see, oh, he's a he's a bookworm. He's a nerd. No. Really the in thing is to be teaching this word. That's the that's the new in thing. Not how nice your, your car is, your clothes are. This is the in thing. But being good in the society, wanting to do the right thing. It's not the in thing within this wicked society right excuse me just a minute because people love evil <laughs> people love evil people delight in evil right this is what society we are living in right where people delight in evil but we got to seek good and not evil that you may live don't you want to live and that's what the scripture says in Deuteronomy 4 and 16. If you do these commandments, ye shall live. The reason why we die is because we fell to what? Keep his laws. And that's why Yahweh Shai is so important. Hate the evil. So lucky I'm moving too fast. Seek good and not evil that you may live. And so the Lord Yahweh Shai, the power of whole shall be with you as ye have spoken. Right? That's how Yahweh Shai can deal with you. Because you want to do the right thing. I respect anyone within this truth that are making them adjustments. They want to do righteously. And you know what? A, a, a true intent. You know, if someone goes off in this truth and you're really, it could be something small. It could be something really small, but you're still hard upon yourself about that particular thing. That shows you have the right mind towards you have a shy. Because many people, they could eat pork, they could be adultery. All this other madness, they don't care. There's not a second thought that comes into their head. And let the scriptures come out. Hate the evil and love the good. You're supposed to hate evil. Not just, not just bits you like, not just certain bits. All evil. Every single part of evil. And love the good. Right? And if you hating evil, right, and loving good, those people that are evil, they're going to hate the good and establish judgment in the gate. And that's what we do, 
right? We establish judgment in the gates within the cities. Okay. It may be that the Lord Yahabashai power of hosts will be gracious unto the remnant of Joseph. Okay. So with that happening, what? May show you mercy. Okay. Because you want to improve. You want to do the right thing. And only Yahabashai. Excuse me. Only a Habashah can make you do the right thing. It's as simple as that. Right? So we went we went to that baby just a minute. So we went to that. It's a vast, it's a vast topic. Right? And we're gonna read upon what happened. Right? Excuse me just a minute. Because you got things transgenders, transgenderism, LGBT, and these things are promoted on a large scale. Yes, even in your schools, right? Transgenders cutting your rod off, a woman thinking she's a man, shaving her hair, shaving her hair off. All right, You're t that's not natural. Leviticus it says, man shall not lie down with man, woman shall not lie with woman. The man was created for the woman. The woman was created for man. That's the natural order of stuff. When you when you stop doing that, it messes up everything. It messes up everything. And once upon a time, our people were, were not so heavily into that. It wasn't so much noticed. Now it's noticed. Now it is noticed. Now they're pushing it out there. Now they're pushing it in your face. Well, let's get the scriptures. This is Wisdom of Solomon, we're going to get to it. Wisdom of Solomon, love righteousness. Again, you're supposed to love righteousness, not hate it. So if you love righteousness, you're going to see the LGBT, transgenders within the sports and so forth. You see the whole thing that's going on in Qatar. You see the whole thing that's going on, right? They didn't, they didn't want him there, right? So they're pushing it in your face, love righteousness. So if you love righteousness, you won't accept these things. You won't accept homosexuality, transgenderism, a man cutting off his rods, getting surgery. Ye that be judges of the earth. So how can you call yourself a judge or being raised up to be a judge? But when these things are presented before you, you see no problem with it. And that's what a lot of people say. Yes, I've heard it all the time. Hear, I hear it a lot. Well, well, um, as long as they're not, I have my own family members that see rubbish like that. Oh, as long as um, he ain't troubling no one, bro. It is because if you if you leave it, if you leave it alone, it's gonna spread, and that's what's happening. It's spreading. So if you don't say nothing, if you have that mentality, it's going to be spread. So evil, it needs to be put out straight away. It needs to be put straight away because if you don't say anything about it, it will spread. now this is being taught in your schools yeah so you're corrupting the children's mind from a young age and that's why a lot of people now they want to what homeschool but now if they do that guess what they they ring the what the services upon you child services no we can't have that but this place is wicked think of the lord you have with a good heart and in simplicity of heart seek him so if you're doing this you're seeking his ways you are part of knowing Yahabashai, knowing what he likes and dislikes. Now, does this mean we're not going to have faults in the flesh? Because one may say to me, I'm going to be real as well. One may say to me, ah, nah, you're being a hypocrite. Wasn't you watching adult videos? You were watching porn. Yeah. I had, I had a, full, a, a few slips, but guess what? There's a difference. I seek to do the right thing. <laughs> okay. See, I'm, I'm, look, I'm, I'm very transparent. I'm not hiding anything. Yeah. But the difference is, you had the elect, they're looking to strive for perfection. Right? That's the difference. Okay? So now we're going to go to Peter's. Now, before we go to. Hold on, hold on just a minute. Let's go to Wisdom of Solomon and 19, and we're going to go to Peter's. Let's go to Wisdom of Solomon 19. Check this out. 
for the Sodomites did not receive those whom they knew not when they came, right? And who was that? The angels, right? That came in the form of men, that just looked like regular men. So yes, angels, you have angels upon earth. You have angels walking upon earth that to you, they may just look like regular men, right? And I've experienced this with other brothers as well. Other brothers can vouch, right? We're gonna stay on topic, but the brothers were, me and a few other brothers were standing about. This was after camp a while ago. And a man came out, out of nowhere. Bro, all of us were in like a circle speaking. So all of us would be able to see if someone was coming out of us. The man literally came out of nowhere. He just put out his hand. He just, he just put out his hand and brothers you know gave him some money some food bro the man had all gray hair as well afro old man right i believe he was an angel so the scriptures also says some have entertained angels unaware the brothers the brothers remember i'm sure the brothers can remember that right so there's been angels that can present themselves before you yeah in the flesh but they're angels okay and these angels what they were in sodom what to come to visit what lot okay and i haven't got that with me now have i got that excuse me just a minute i've been saying i was going to get a new scripture for a long time which i still need to do no it's not in there all right so these were angels and these men these sodomites they wanted to have what sex with the angels these men all right and it says baba kasha baba kasha for the Sodomites did not receive those whom they knew not when they came. These were the angels. But these brought friends into bondage that they had well deserved of them. And not only so, but pre-adventure. Some respect shall be had of those because they used strangers not friendly. But these grievously afflicted them whom they had received with feastings. And were already made partakers of the same laws with them. Therefore, even with blindness, with these stricken as those were at the doors of the righteous man. Yeah, remember, they were stricken with blindness. The angels stripped because they were trying to get in. They were trying to get into Lot's house. They wanted to have their way with what? The angels. Uh, excuse me just a minute, Baba Kasha. <sighs> I'm just burning some <sighs> frankincense. They were trying to have their way with the angels right so the angels smite them in blindness so they could not find the door okay and it says baba kasha baba kasha as they were at the doors of the righteous man who was that righteous man lot right who when being compassed about with horrible great darkness everyone sought the passage of his own doors right so they, they were blinded they were groping they were all groping and yes guess what it was young and old young old mid-aged okay and for the elements were changing themselves by a kind of harmony like as a sort of notes change the name of the tune and yet were always sounds which may well be seen of the sight of things that they had done right for the earthly things were turned into watery and the things that before swam into water now went up on the ground Right, going into something else, but they were being plagued with apparitions as well. Okay, excuse me, just a minute. <sighs> yeah, they were being plagued. Okay, rightfully so. So now let's go to when it says the righteous man, let's go to Peter's. You have to hate all wickedness, right? And yeah, okay, guess what? Excuse my language. A lot of us were raised fucked up fucked up believe in certain things that may have been okay when it's not okay it's off okay never compromise never compromise that's another way of selling your soul compromising your integrity your morals right so let's go to first Peters. This is 
first Peters. Second, um, second Peters two. And six. And the turning of the cities of Sodom, Sodom and Gomorrah, into ashes. Right? Yeah, it was turned into ashes. And condemned them with an overthrow. That place was condemned. Right? And they had their warning previously because the angels were walking up and down, scouting out that land. Right? And so you never know one of the brothers in the truth, the prophets, yeah, were angels, but were just the angels in the, in the lower form. Right? Because the scriptures previously, when you go to the top, it said, um, Spare not the angels, but sin, but cast them down into hell, into chains of everlasting darkness. We're in these chains of darkness, which is the mortal flesh. So we are angels, but we've been brought down to a lower estate due to sin. Excuse me. <sighs> and turning the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah into ashes. That's what it was turned into. And it's still there today as a memorial. Well, the buildings are there, but it's in the shape of ashes. It's still there. The structure is still there in ashes. You can go there today. And you will see the structure. It would be nothing but brimstone. Right? Condemn them of an overthrow, making them an example unto those that should live ungodly. So, really, if, if you had any sense in your head, you'd be able to look at that and say, well... Well, well, look what look at the state of it. Look at it today. Maybe we shouldn't do that. You put them two neurons together. Maybe we shouldn't do that. Maybe we shouldn't live like that, right? Or else you suffer the same judgment, right? Or why? Why is it? But how comes our people ain't learning? So our people haven't learned. The videos are there. There's videos upon Sodom and Gomorrah. There's proof it was burnt up, destroyed with fire. Making them an example unto those that should live ungodly and delivered just lot. So when it says delivered just lot, what does that mean? He was a righteous man. Right? He stood for something. But he was living in that region. Prior to um Abraham and Lot. Remember they had to go their um different different ways. Why? Because their herdsmen were having arguments because the land, right? They didn't want to share it, so what they divided the land and lot lived upon what I forgot where it was Je was it Jezar and Sodom by the plains and Ab Abraham lived on a different region the other side right and delivered just lots vexed ve keep vexed okay excuse me I have to get into it vexed right with the conversation filthy conversation of the wicked right and because you have people that may watch our videos you even have yes you have flamers that will do this on purpose sit next to you with another man kissing on another man and you you just it's like you just got to sit there it's like no don't say nothing they will purposely do that they will purposely do that right or two women and you may have a child with a mother or father that looks at that she said I've seen it mummy Daddy, why are they doing that? And you've got to explain it. In public. Now you explain that. And you say something that's wrong. They want to get you locked up. Hey, this place is... Hey, this place... This is why this place has to be destroyed. This is why this place has to be destroyed. Right? The scriptures hate all wickedness. Hate all abominations vehemently. Vehemently. Remember back in high school days... Our people, our people would get a kick Our two women lip lip locking They would get a kick out of that Yeah, there's two women lip locking No, you hate that You're supposed to I'm, We're going to balance it out We're going to balance it out Because within Greek culture Right Rap was a part of Greek culture You had the island of Lesbos And our people into that um, Alphaletics Wrestling naked That still goes on today Look at, look at Tom UFC they're half naked. They're wearing tight pants. Look at the athletics. This is Rome back here again today. This is Greece, spiritually Greece back here again today. This is spiritually Egypt back here again today. Um, America. And this is, uh, America is spiritually Sodom and Gomorrah. Spiritually. Because it practiced them same customs. And guess what the capital of Sodom and Gomorrah would be today? Guess what the modern day in America, if you would have to point out the state, 
it would have to be Atlanta right Atlanta is the main place of what sodomy right you can't you, you can't tell me this man bear me just a minute and the liver just not vexed with the filthy conversation of the wicked so you have to be vexed right you're out and about and people are, are doing it on purpose you know talking about what they've done for that the righteous man dwelling among them in seeing and hearing vex his righteous soul from day to day with the unlawful deeds so what was 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 lot was he just complacent with that was he complacent with it say oh it is what it is so um, I'm, I'm we're living among it you know so um you know let 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 them just do what they do no he was vexed you can imagine right he was worshiping what yahweh shai having to see that living among them so you can imagine he must have been very um what's the word what's the word isolated and it's the same thing today if you stand for righteousness what do you think is going to happen if you stand for righteousness you're going to be isolated right but this is why there's so much disorder this is why there's so much chaos right this is why there's so much confusion because that is that shit is confusion right you got to look at a woman not once twice and think what well, is that really a woman you got maybe three maybe four times is that really a woman all right this you know what that's called it's called confusion that's what that's called confusion and guess what nothing righteous can come out of that right because if everybody was living that way guess what nobody would procreate you wouldn't be here <laughs> I wouldn't be here right so how are you here because your mother and your father lay down together so it's, it's, it's basic 101 right and that's why yes this society has been become more digressive it has been become more digressive you can't tell me you ain't right Verse 9, the Lord Jehovah shall know how to deliver the godly out of temptations. And that's exactly what he's going to do, deliver the godly out of temptations. Okay. And to reserve the unjust unto the day of judgment. And that's what he's doing. He's reserving the unjust for that judgment. That's why the scripture says, he that is unjust. Let's go to Revelation, excuse, excuse me just a minute. Where was it? Where was it? Where was it? Where was it? Revelation 22 and 11. He that is unjust, let him be unjust still. And he that is fil which is filthy, let him be filthy still. And he that is righteous, let him be righteous still. And he that is holy, let him be holy still. And behold, I come quickly. Speaking of Yahweh Shai. Right? And my reward is with me. To give every man according to his work shall be. So according to what you reaped on the earth, that's what you're going to receive. Right? If you were doing righteousness, you're going to receive what? Righteousness. A righteous reward. If you're doing wickedness and you didn't repent, because guess what? The elect, we are all worthy of death, but the difference is the elect repented and the elect were of the first fruits. Alright? That is the difference. Right? It's not that we're boasting. We're braggadocious because people may look at us like that. Oh, he thinks he's better. No. Right? It's just that the elect, he's working on. It's lucky. It's Yahweh. He's working upon his elect. So lucky. I'm just dealing with this frankincense. He's working upon his elect. That's all it is. <sighs> Ain't personal. It's that people want to make it personal. Okay. So let's go back to where we were. This is Second Peter's two, and that's it on that. Okay. So we went to that, and we're also going to go to Romans. I want to make sure I'm not missing anything. Yeah, these are reprobate, defiled spirits, right? And as our people are embracing that heavily, heavily, right? Romans 1 
tent. Go to verse 20. For the invisible things of him from the creation of the world are clearly seen. Right? The invisible things. Right? It's seen, yeah, in the physical, because before everything was spiritual, it's physical. So when you see plants, trees, sand, water, that's a manifestation of what Yahweh created around you, the invisible things. Being understood by the things which are, are made, even his eternal power and Godhead, so they are without excuse. Right? Because that when they knew the Most High, they glorified him not right as the most high neither were thankful this is going into now how these things come about but became vain right in their imaginations scriptures tell you that in their for an evil imagination and suspicion has overthrown their judgment so our people come become vain in their own imaginations and their foolish heart was darkened right their mind scripture says that there was a psalm in david a prayer against the wicked of our people let their table become a stair. Let their heart become darkened. Verse 22. Professing themselves to be wise. A lot of our people profess, profess themselves to be so wise. So wise. They became fools. Right? And that's why the scripture says in Corinthians. He, whosoever think he's wise, let him become a fool first. Yeah, you need to be. Right? But our people, they don't want to humble. They don't want to humble themselves. Then they start saying foolish stuff. Foolish. You know? And change the glory of the uncorruptible power. Right? Into an image made like, a, like unto corruptible man. Which goes into what? Idolatry. They change the image. Which goes into transform. Which this is where you have the whole trans, transgender. Right? And to birds and four footed beasts and creeping things, which is idolism. Right? And that's why you got some of these idols. You have a bird head, it would have a woman's breast, and it would have a man's legs. This is what this is it's idolism. And four footed four footed beasts and creeping things. Wherefore also the Most High gave them up to uncleanness. That's what the Lord Yahweh does, right? He gave them up to their un uncleanness, uncleanness, so like you, right? Through the loss of their own hearts. That's why you got to fear Yahweh, because he could give you up to them. And I want to say this as well with brothers. You may have trouble with um, adult videos, porn. You may say, well, why, do, why, do I, why did I just do that? Why did I just watch that? <laughs> that was a spirit at that time that you were, you were, just, you were just being tempted, right? It doesn't mean you're not going to make it, right? If you don't repent from that, you may not make it. But you've got to repent if you're doing that, right? Because it's happened to me several times, okay? I had an individual, some reprobate that come on my comment board and say, well, do you know what um, watching um, adult videos that's selling your soul? No, it's not. No, it's not, right? It can defile your soul, but it's not selling your soul, right? Okay? It's, it's called a succubus demon. Right. Okay, which works upon the flesh. Okay. And it says this is Romans one. And where was we? We were on verse and the loss of their own hearts to dishonor their own bodies between themselves. Right? Wherefore the Most High gave them up to uncleanness, right? Through the loss of their own hearts. So when you see a woman with woman they were given up to that spirit, okay, through the loss of their own hearts, to dishonor their own bodies between themselves. Why did it say the dishonor? Because it's a dishonor to your body, right? You're dishonoring your body, right? And this is how a lot of these diseases um, come about as well, right? And I don't want to get too technical because you may have, you know, those that are young watching this, but why does a woman put on, all right, you have a woman that's with a woman, why does she put on a, a strap on? Right? If you don't need no man, you're Miss Independent. Why are you putting on a strap on? Why are you doing? So these people, they they messed up. They messed up in the head. Okay. 
the son of their bodies among themselves, between themselves, who change the truth, who change the truth for the most high into a lie. That's changing it, right? Woe to them that call good evil and evil good. And worship and serve the creature more than the creator. Which what is that going to? Idolatry. And we're not supposed to, again, I'm out in the wilderness. Some people hug trees to be grounded, right? They get in a form of what electricity, energy from it. Right? But you're not supposed to worship no tree. You're not supposed to worship no element. Right? You're not supposed to worship the water. Right? Even though water does promote life. You're not supposed to worship the water. And sun also, yes, promotes life as well. But you're not supposed to worship the sun. Right? Sun worship. Worship worshiping the sun rays. Right? Because it gives you vitamin what E, vitamin D. Right? More than the creator. So the creator is the one that formed these things. So you're supposed to worship him. Not the things that were not the things that were formed by him. You're supposed to worship the creator. And who is blessed forever, our man. For this cause is gonna go into the cause now. Why? The most I gave them up to vile affections. Right? That's why they were given up. To them vile affections. Right? Even their women did change their natural use into rats, which is against nature. So they changed it. Right? Completely changed it. Verse 27, likewise, also the men leaving the natural use of the women. So what's the natural use of a woman and a man? What's the natural use? Huh? For them to get together, to get jiggy. And it says, burned in their lust one toward another, because that's what it is. Men with men working, that which is unseemly. So it's unseemly. Right? And receiving in themselves, right? That recompense of the ever which was meat. So that recompense whichever what was meat, what was it? It was judgment. And it was a righteous judgment. <sighs> According <sighs> to what was meat. Okay? And it says Where was I? Where was I? Where was I? That was which was meat. Seemingly receiving in themselves that recompense of the ever which was meat, which was worthy, even as they did not like to retain wow look at the size of that dog and it says <laughs> I've received themselves the recompense of the air which was meat even as they did not like to retain the most high in their knowledge right so they were not doing that okay the most high gave them over to a reprobate mind so when you see two carpet munchers they were given over to that Excuse me just a minute. The reason why I'm taking a lot of breaks because um I just purchased some new frag. Oh hey, this thing's beautiful. I got some old man, some old man frankincense. I'm telling you, bro. Brothers need to purchase some of this man. Get back to our godly ways. Alright? Excuse me just a minute. So that's what the most high that is it's letting you know. Okay. It's one thing you doing that and repenting, but to carry on in that way. And thinking it's righteous. No, it's not. It's off. Right? It is off. There's nothing righteous about it. it. Doesn't promote life. It promotes death. It promotes confusion. It promotes diseases. Right? And it says, Baba Kashar, Baba Kashar. For the discourse, the most I gave him up. To vile affections for even their women they change enough for use into that which was against nature what does that mean now you have women that can have operations to get a rod right and say well i was I, I, this is the way i feel i don't feel like a woman you know i was born this no nah. look look if you were born a woman you were born a woman there's nothing you could do to change that if you were born a woman you were born a woman if you were born a man you were born a man right so they change their natural use because they're not happy with how Yahabashai created them. Right? That which is, was against nature and likewise also the men leaving their natural use of the woman 
So what's the natural use of a woman and a man? To get jiggy, right? And that is, it's pleasurable. There's pleasure with sex, right? Burned in their lust one towards another. That's the last men working with men working at, which is unseemly, not good, receiving in themselves that recompense of their error, right? Which was meat. And even as they did not like to receive the Mosai in their knowledge, the Mosai gave them over, key thing, right? Yes, he gave them over to a reprobate mind, right? And re reprobate means void of judgment. To do those things which are not convenient, right? Not necessary. Verse 29, and it goes into the traits of individuals that have the traits of a flamer. So it's, now it's going to go into the traits. And I've seen things, look, there's particular things I've seen up in this truth, right? You have men that claim to be against it. I'm watching a video and you've got one individual rubbing up on a man's shoulder. In the truth. Rubbing up on man's shoulder. Right? Are you missing things? Another man at camp, he's doing the Vogue with his hands. Right? But all this, you know, the, my thing is, you're only lying to yourself. You better repent. If you're into that lifestyle, you better repent quick. Right? You go into camp, hugging brothers. But uh, behind closed doors, <laughs> you getting jiggy with men the Lord's going to find you out right let's go to Romans 2 and where was we where was we let's go, to, go into the traits being filled with unrighteousness fornication wickedness covetousness maliciousness so it also gives you a trait of these individuals full of envy murder debate deceit malignity whispers so you're telling me there's none of these traits up in the truth so if, if, if these individuals have these traits, you know they're dibbling and dabbling and doing these things, right? Backbiters, it says whisperers, backbiters, all right? Why are you whispering for? You're around brothers, why are you whispering? I thought it was the brotherhood. And you're supposed to be honest with all brothers, huh? Backbiters, haters of the most high, despiteful, proud, Bolsters, inventors of evil things. One of them inventions, we just went into it, right? Man is working, which is unseemly. Backbiters, haters of the most high, despiteful, proud, bolsters, inventors of evil things, right? Disobedient to parents, because we have spiritual parents as well, without understanding, right? Because if you had understanding, you wouldn't be part be taken in these, in these deeds. Excuse me. And what else? covenant breakers without natural affection the natural affection is you know a woman with man man with woman implacable unmerciful who know in the judgment of the most high and they which commit such things are worthy of what death right not only that do the same but have pleasure in them that do them so you're not supposed to have pleasure in these things we want to balance it out now now can our people repent? Of course. Because when you go back to the Greeks, just look at the, the lifestyle they were living. Right? I'm not sure if I'll be able to find every scripture concerning this, but I'll try to. Bear me just a minute. Okay. So we got Corinthians. One thing at a time. Okay. Oh, you know what, hey, I wasn't even looking for it, but I found it, right, I found it, <sighs> okay, it's, oh, it's okay, it's okay, it doesn't bite, okay, just, yeah, just, just for safety measure, <laughs> okay, <laughs> so where was I? I was on 1st Corinthians um, chapter 5. It is reportedly common that there is fornication among you, as such fornication as as not so, as much as named among the Gentiles. So we were living as the Gentiles. You have two types of Gentiles. You have the Gentiles that were of the other nations, and you have the Gentiles, we were Gentiles. In other words, we got a British passport, UK name. You may have a, a, a Gentile name, right? 
that one should have his father look listen to this and as such fornication as is not so much as names among the gentiles that should one that commanded us to teach right regardless if you like it or not and there's a lot of people they're not going to like what we have to say but so what right excuse me does that mean you just stop now does that mean you just stop teaching completely no you continue to teach okay we teach until we cannot teach no more okay there's a little bit more just a minute and it says for we, but we cannot but speak the things which we have seen and heard so then when they have further threatened them they let them go finding nothing how they might punish them it's, you know what it says finding nothing so guess what they, they needed something they needed to find something right how they might punish them because of the people for all men glorify the most high that which was done right for the man was ab above 40 years old on whom this miracle of healing was showed and being let go they went their way up to their own company and reported all that the chief priests and elders had said unto them and when they had heard that they lift up their voice in the most high with one accord and said lord that our power which has made heaven and earth and sea and all that is in, in them right and who by the mouth of the servant David has said, why did why did the heathen rage and the people imagine vain things and the kings of the earth stood up and the rulers were gathered together against the Lord and he's anointed Yahweh Shai for of a truth against the holy child Yahweh Shai whom thou has anointed both Herod Pontius Pilate with the Gentiles the other nations and the people of Israel which is a conglomerate were gathered together that's what same thing today new world order right juiced in they were juiced in with Herod so this really gives you a broader spectrum of what was going on and it's the same pattern Stephen Peter Yahweh Shai and more prophets as well so really this lesson I hope this was edifying I really hope this gives you a broader perspective of what was going on during that time Okay, and until the next time, shut up.